it's Evgenia. As I promised, once in a week, uh, we do a very brief review of the uh, last pattern applications, world, global pattern applications in the space of human brain. Um, and those pattern applications have actually been published in the last week. So very fascinating and very new. Uh, so let's get started. As you probably already know, the most fascinating subject matter in a space is actually the connection of the human brain to a device, to a computer. And the goal and the reason of it, it's not... It, um, it has less to do with the actual controlling of the beam because it's very hard to do. I mean, it's not possible on the current stage of the development, but it's actually all about improvement of the uh, life quality, and especially for the for those of us who have certain you know disabilities. So the first patent application is from Japan, and uh, the authors they claim that uh, this specifically shaped device with a specific feet and materials is able to gather brainwave better. They claim that because of the position, because of shame, shape, it covers specific regions of the brain, it's actually able to uh, do a great, better job. I don't know. Hope, <laughs> hope it, uh, definitely better. You can look for more information uh, regarding the uh, um, applicant and regarding the, uh, uh, the device online. So the next, the next pattern application is about a specific light uh, therapy. The light is 20 to 50, uh, you know, gigahertz, uh, and authors claim that if you use this this light on uh, uh, an actual uh, brain, is able to stimulate the, uh, ganglion cells, and it's able to uh, treat a certain condition: Alzheimer's, depression, dementia, etc. Uh, okay, we, uh, as you probably already mentioned, uh, notice we have a uh, lots of a uh, lots of system like this developed for you know different type of um, light. Light is a very powerful tool, and um, I guess this type of innovation brings a lots of you know promises. So we actually can treat it as actually it's actually able to stimulate stimulate activate the brain. Okay, especially after you know specific trauma. Um, and it's actually a very important uh, application. Hope uh, we hope it, it will find a lot of applications. Uh, the next one. Have you heard about Abro Brain Thermal Tunnel? Oh my God! I think it's very amazing. So the thing is, uh, by measuring the temperature in the brain, you can not just judge about certain conditions. You can predict certain, like really, really, uh, you know, like stroke or like life-threatening um, condition. In the brain. So uh, again, very important subject matter, very important uh, device, a, a very important um, you know um, innovation. And uh, as author claimed, uh, the um, the system can be developed not just for uh, gathering information, not just not, or, uh, but also for the for the treatment, for the stimulation, for the treatment, for you know um, influencing of the of this particular you know uh, temperature. Okay, next application uh, made, published by Evoke Neurosciences by, inv by inventor David Hedgedorn. Um, he developed not just device, he developed the whole, uh, you know, algorithm that actually uh, can create electro uh, physiological testing and a very specific, you know, uh, treatment to a specific patient with a specific, you know, condition. And I believe it uh, provides a lot of promises, a very great job, especially seeing one. Uh, it's very fascinating to see, you know, just one name as an inventor. Uh, a great job being done. Uh, a lot of work. And I believe it's very promising. The next one. Um... It's about macro, uh, micronutrients, micronutrient composition that actually uh, is able to improve uh, the the uh, the brain, the uh, the way how the brain works. The thing is, uh, is, is you if you probably if you follow me, you probably know how I like 
Pikukuet, and the whole idea that this particular composition has it, uh, you know, gives me lots of excitement. So um, this specific, this specific uh, composition, it uh, basically uh, works with the uh, on the energy energy. <laughs> energy level and it promise uh, to um, provide a brain more uh, resources more resources of energy for its work and as it's claimed by the author is able to uh, support and help people with certain you know mental condition and that improves and increases adenosine triphosphate production because <clears throat> it has specific coenzymes that actually are uh, involved in the creation of uh, ITP. Uh, very important comp uh, compositions. Hope it will find uh, lots of, you know, applications. In the last part in the application, um, researchers are trying to create a bidirectional connection. Uh, a device with a brain. Of course, there are lots of companies involved, not just about, you know, material specific electrodes, but, uh, you know, biological matter that would connect uh, a neurons to a device. As you know, uh, synapse is the whole idea of the connection between neurons that's multidimensional and very, uh, very multi-componential uh, subject matter. So, um, it's uh, involved a uh, lots of uh, factor factors, and in this particular applications, what innovators did, they created artificial cortical layer uh, made of uh, genetically modified cells that actually is able to, uh, you know, provide a better, uh, better synapses, better connection to, you know, um, um, to electrode in a specific, you know, in a specific wave length in a specific, you know, um, whatever stimulus they use is understood. It's a, it's a specific um, light signal. And of course, there are lots of challenges involved in terms of interpretation of the sing signals. And in this particular application, they provide a pre-description of uh, the uh, you know gathering information gathering and uh, uh, the whole idea of the uh, connection multidimensional connection of the device to a human brain I think it's very fascinating uh, subject matter we hope it's uh, one step forward and let them wish them luck so that is it for for today see you next week. <laughs>